Louis Theroux is cycling in circles in a furniture-free room in his house. Come and look at my exercise bike, he calls out to Jimmy Seville, who's visiting. Then they're sitting in the garden together. Jimmy, wearing skimpy shorts, string vest, gold plastic mirror glasses and inevitable cigar, is playing the guitar. Time for Jimmy to go now. If you ever do need a place to crash in London, you've seen you've got a room upstairs, says Louis, at the door. I'm serious, he adds, looking at. Jimmy walks out, backwards. The footage was taken in 2001, the year after the famous documentary when Louis met Jimmy. They'd stayed in touch, Louis says, because he thought there was a side to Jimmy he hadn't seen. There was, he didn't see it. Now he's made another documentary Louis Theroux, Seville, BBC2, Sunday, no chummy first names now, that sets out to try to understand how he, and everyone else, failed to see it, and how Seville got away with rape and child abuse on a massive scale for so long. Louis goes to visit victims, and people who worked closely with Seville. He offers to take his shoes off politely listens to their stories, to build up a picture of how the man was and is perceived. He gets a range of responses. Brutal frankness and sickening detail from Kat, who was abused by Civil at her boarding school for troubled teenage girls. Blind denial from Janet, who was his assistant for nearly 30 years, and still somehow maintains his innocence. Something in between and strange from Sylvia who worked with him at Stoke Mandeville and who accepts his guilt but still keeps a discreet photo of him on the dresser as well as fond memories in her heart. And from Sam, who was abused by Civil in church, during services, Louis gets more gruesome details, as well as wisdom and